Hey, and welcome back for this quick 3.0 update. Things have changed and I want to show you how you can do this effect in Blender 3.0. So let's go. Okay, here we are in the new scene. So let's get rid of the cube and let's create a monkey, our Suzanne, because we want to use this one today. And now let's hit into geometry notes here. And we can easily add here a new setup on our Suzanne. And what we need now is um, an instance, instance, sorry, instance on points. And let's put this one between these nodes here. And now we can see nothing <laughs> because we need something to put on these points and we want to use here a mesh primitive which is the iconosphere this one here let's leave the settings by uh, one meter radius and subdivision one and put this one into the instances now we can see here the instances are really big but they are on our on our um Su suzanne here right now and maybe let's um, scale this one down here to something like really, really small 0001 and 001 as well. And let's go in here and maybe to something like this here. And we can see um, that here we have some tiny, tiny lines here, but we need more subdivision here right now. And we can do this by adding a new subdivision mesh here. Let's put this one between our um, our Susan and the points here. And when we are increasing here the levels, we are getting here more points, and that means more iconospheres. Cool. And maybe let's uh, scale this one here a little bit down. So. <clears throat> Yeah, to make the change changes a little bit easier, we can easily put this one here into the input node and we can adjust this outside the geometry nodes tab. Let's do this one as well with here the scale. And when you want to drop the setting or the setup uh, onto another mesh, um, you can set here the defaults. Um, the defaults are already already here in in this one but when you want to change this you can change the settings here um, okay and the last one will be here um, uh, uh, material set a material which is this one here um, and now we have to create a material let's put here a new one and let's rename this to material um, hologram if you are attaching this uh, material to our mesh nothing will happen you have to um, select this one here and when we are changing here nothing happens because we have to go <laughs> into the rendered mode and now we can see here that the color is changing so um but we want to make it look a little bit cooler so uh, let's jump right into the shading tab here let's go into rendered mode and maybe let's enable here the bloom and ev and when we are going here into the yeah into the shading tab and let's search for ramp color ramp let's put this one into the base color and into the emission and maybe let's increase here the strength so we get a little bit glow stuff here let's uh, yeah let's add here a node wrangler setup let's add a texture setup but we don't need here the image texture so let's delete this one and attach these two here together and what we have to do now is change from UV to generated. Let's put this one here. And because we want to have uh, the gradient only into the, the Z value, so, uh, so we have to separate this one. So let's search here for separate 
x, y, and z and put this into the z value. And we are, when we are dropping down here these sliders um, or dropping this one up, you can see the uh, gradient will change here, but um, I like to put this one here into a brighter bluish color and this one into a darker bluish, something like this. You can see that the top is here uh, a little bit darker and the bottom is yeah, brighter. Maybe let's put this one a little bit down. So um, let's put um, our setup here in onto another mesh here, maybe a UV sphere. Uh, let's put this one here over. Go to add modifier geometry nodes and select our um, first geometry node setup. And ta-da, you can see we have the same the same result and we can adjust here the lines or the subdivisions. Yeah, that was the update for the 3.0 geometry node setup for a hologram. I hope you like it and if you have any questions, please let me know. See you next time and bye bye.